啦啦。Pips and welcome back to My Sims. This is Blala, and today we're doing something a little bit different. So we have now um, completed all the um, My Sims on the various star levels, one to five. But now we need to um, check out the Uber Sims. Um, some very special Sims. There are six of them. We're going to cover three in this episode, and then the next episode will cover uh, the final three of them. Uber Sims. <laughs> So, oh, Roxy, I, I, yeah, I need to fix that sink. I'm sorry. So, um, we might go outside. It's a bit crowded in here. Ah, so much quieter out here. This is nice. So, what we want to do is talk about how we actually get Uber Sims. So, what we have to do in town is 100%... Um, a town interest. At the moment we have 100% fun. Now, um, there are various things that will increase your town interest. Moving in a sim of that interest will gain you about 5 to 6% in that town interest. Um, if you then best friend them, no, if you fill their house so that this same uh, meter in their house has their favourite interest up to 100%, your town again will gain around 5, uh, 5 to 6% in that town interest. If you spam the Sims house lot externally with all their, um, with lots of items that have their interest at heart, so perhaps fun, for example, um, you can gain as much as 8% um, on the town interest. So the last option is uh, obviously one of the, the most uh, preferred, moving in a sim of that interest and then uh, spamming effectively the external part of their house in their interest is, is going to be the best because uh, doing all the stuff internally while it has a nice impact it uh, is very expensive on the old essences, whereas the other two options don't require any essences at all. But yeah, per sim, if you did all those things, you can get anywhere to 15 to 20% in that town interest. It does seem to vary because I don't think any one particular item or essence is exactly 1 or 2%. They're, they're sort of uh, 2 point something percent, you know, like 2.8%. It's very bizarre. Anyway, let's get started. <sighs> After a night's sleep, and here he is. The fun Uber Sim is the amazing Daryl. Oh, look at his shoes, playing cards and things like that. Oi, flowers! Let's talk to him. Hello, hello, welcome to Blumania, amazing Daryl. Um, greetings, I am the amazing Daryl, musician extraordinaire. Fantastic. Now, this may not work, but we're going to ask him to move in. But he might decline. No. Okay. So, what what's happening here is it seems that your town can become too packed with items. Um, and sims then start declining uh, to move in. Uh, you can't create items in your... Uh, workshop it it actually becomes a real problem trying to max out these interests and still be able to add stuff to your town i mean i've only maxed out one interest and i'm having this trouble um so it is a concern because in my perfect town um which is also rumored to be part of how to get in to this hotel uh, sorry only hotel guests are allowed upstairs it's rumoured that we will need to simultaneously 100% all interests. If we're having this sort of problem with one interest, hmm, could be a tricky old business. So what I will have to do is kick a few of the fun peeps out of town until he is willing to move in. Wish me luck. Hello, I'm back. I'm hoping you'll move in now, Daryl. Would you like to move in? Yay! A 
Excellent, indeed. It would be a pleasure to move here. I can amaze the town folk with my illusions of wonder. Okay. <laughs> sure. Okay. Let's find him a spot and move him in. Ooh. Hello, Daryl. Welcome to Blumania. We built your rather fun wonky house. So, yes. Um, Uber Sims have apparently, so I've heard, more densely uh, decorated homes. What are you doing? So, let's see how much stuff Daryl has, shall we? Oh, is it, he's got a stage. Oh, look, to perform his magic tricks. Look, there's that trick where they saw people in half. <laughs> oh, look, say, so you can come here and watch him perform. That's a really cool stage. They've done a really good job of that, haven't they, actually? I really like it. Oh, look, a costume chest. Oh, look, he's put all this behind a red... So we can't get back there to his room, which has fish everywhere. That's interesting. Um, he's got a costume closet thing, a mirror, and, and a bathtub. It's off limits. Oh, look. He's got a table that's just a floating magic carpet. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Magic eight ball, the wizard. He's got look, club cards, clubs, wallpaper. Fantastic. Hey, this is pretty fun. Wow, his place is pretty, pretty cool. Um, so, that disappearing trick that he does is also pretty good. Look at that. Hello. Sorry, I was standing in, in your spot, wasn't I? Shall we check um, Daryl out? God, it's crazy in his house, isn't it? Shall we check Daryl out in his relationships book? It's my relationships book, but we'll check him out in it. That's what we're going to do. Uh, so, let's see here. Um... Uh, okay, he was probably right at the start, wasn't he? It's the amazing Daryl. No? Okay. Maybe he is under D for Daryl? No. Under T for the. <laughs> the. <laughs> Fine. There we are. So, interests, he is fun. He is the fun uber sim, that is true. But look, he also kind of likes spooky. I suppose doing magic tricks, it can spook people out, can't it? Uh, he doesn't like studio. So, Daryl Hansley. Oh, look, he has a surname. Prefers to be called the Amazing Daryl. Watch him produce flowers from thin air. Are you not amazed? <laughs> so, there we are. We've managed to move in. Amazing Daryl. Which is fantastic. Um, um, what we need to do... Kazim is uh, go and find some other Uber Sims. Shall we move in? Um, Hopper. Hopper. Oh, yeah. Let's move in, Hopper. See you later, Daryl. We had a nice sleep. It is a new day. And waiting for us is the cute Uber Sim. Everybody, I'd like you to meet... Hopper! Hello, Hopper! It's Hopper! Hi, I'm Hopper. Nobody can jump as far as me. Boing, boing. Hey, would you like to move in, Hopper? Oh, what is happening over here? He might not want to because our town might be a little cluttered. No, he does! Yes, live in this town? Sure. I think I can bring the much needed frog suit wearing guy demographic. <gasps> Excellent. Let's move in the Uber Sim Hopper. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, we did it. I did it. <gasps> Look at it. It's very green. It's very froggy. Look at his sofa. He's got a froggy sofa. It has a tongue and everything. Television. Oh, hey, this place is pretty cool, isn't it? It's got a bookcase. Oh, look at his kitchen. He has a fully fledged kitchen kicking around here. And it all has sort of like a, a froggy theme, doesn't it? Cabinet on the wall. I like these. Uh, more amphibians. Um, look, a proper bathroom. He's got his and her sinks. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at his bed. He has a huge froggy bed. Um, and a hi-fi. Uh, they're not wrong, are they? These houses are completely decked out. Wow. Now, well, this is amazing. What do you think of your house, Hopper? In front of a very loud television. Uh, thanks for the house. This sure beats lily pads and mud holes. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> right, shall we? I, his outfit's great, isn't it? Shall we check out um, uh, Hopper in our relationships book? Um, where would he be now? Hopper, Hopper, there he is. So, let's see here. So, he is the cute Uber Sim. Indeed, he is. Um, he also likes fun, but he doesn't like tasty. Um, do you think that's because um, in some parts of the world they eat frog's legs? Uh, Hopper won't first... Uh, no, <laughs> Hopper won first Wait place at the high jump competition. <laughs> then he kind of let the success go to his head. Fair enough, okay, it's a little bit weird. But there we are. So this is Hopper Uber Sim and his house. Um, and it's pretty awesome. Um, I love it, Hopper. I love it. Um, you are amazing, Hopper. That is an amazing outfit. So, uh, we shall best friend you later, Hopper. But for now, we have one more Uber Sim to get. We are going to get the geeky Uber Sim. Off I go. I've done it. I've maxed out Geeky. <gasps> there she is, everybody. It's Star. Hello, Star. Look how cool she is. Oh, my goodness. What is she wearing? Oh, my. She's like a warrior. Hello, Star. Her hair is amazing. Look how pink it is. <gasps> Hello. <gasps> well, howdy there. The name's Julie. I'm a farmer from a nearby town. What an amazing place this is. Okay, there's lots of things I expected her to say. But this what this definitely wasn't amongst them. It was unexpected, definitely. Would you like to move into Blarmania? That would be so amazing. <gasps> Look. Look at the get up. Well, sure, I'd love to move here. I uh, reckon that's a great idea. But is there enough room for a farm? A farm? A farm! <gasps> oh, I hope so! I, I'll go make room right now! Here is your new home. I mean, it doesn't look like a farm. <laughs> oh, farm. I wonder what the inside's going to look like. Do you think it's going to be like a barn? <laughs> a farm. <gasps> this is nothing like a farm. What on earth is she talking about? Look, it's like ninja stars everywhere. <laughs> How cool is that? And like these scrolls and that. Oh. Oh, oh I like the speakers that, that's going with the television here. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at the sword. Look at the sword. Oh, do we get the bookcase? The sofa? I want the coffee table. Can we have all the things? <gasps> a nice metallic kitchen. The door seems to be. Oh, she has a glass door so you can see inside the fridge. <laughs> oh, she's got a cordless telephone. She's got stars all over the wall. Um, a metallic bathroom by the looks of it. I like the toilet roll holder. That's fantastic. Um, <gasps> look at the tree. Oh, look at this bed. That's amazing. Look, there's a little bird in the tree. Wow, it's like a tree from another planet. And then we've got a, a metallic desk with a rocket on it and bedside table. Um, is that Gertrude? Are you? Are you? There we go. Uh, oh! Oh my god. You're scaring the bejesus out of us. Um, uh, this weird thing? I'm not sure. Do you think it's like a hat that she wears at night? <laughs> I don't think so. Right, okay. So, um, well, I can't get out. This is just an outrage. Oh, I'll have those. Uh, oh, stars in the bath, everyone. <laughs> So there we are. Look, check it out. Star's home. It's really cool. It's got lots of stuff in it. I wouldn't call it a farm. I, I feel like she's got the wrong messages or something. Do you know what I mean? I, maybe once upon a time it was going to be a farm. Her name's not Julie. It's Star. I just I feel like there's something wrong. <laughs> I feel like there is something wrong. But, but... Um, in, when we got 100% geeky, I did get a message for the town, which went something like this. Congratulations, your town is now uber geeky. Be sure to check in at the hotel. A mysterious stranger might be waiting for you. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll... That's Jenny. What we'll... Definitely star there. What we'll do is we'll check her out in the relationships book. Let's see here. Um, so I'm assuming it'll be under S star. Star is a Jonin of the Crescent Moon Village, home of 10,000 Jutsus. That's a lot of Jutsus. 
star secret hideout see this seems a bit more in line doesn't it with with what's going on who's julian what farm <laughs> what was that about um so she's uh, geeky obviously um she's also into spooky she doesn't like tasty even though she's currently sitting down and nom nomming um yeah i yeah i expect her to say a lot of things but that her name is julie and that she likes farms yeah no didn't see that one coming um i feel like that might be some sort of glitch <laughs> no maybe maybe originally she was going to be julie who was a farmer or something i don't know it's very it's very weird anyway there we are so i think it is time now that we've met our three uber sims for this episode uh we should oh look what's that stamp books normally something we do in the library this is weird stamp 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 um so now what we'll do is we'll start best friending the uber sims are oh, i'm excited i'm excited hello 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 oh he's asleep daryl do you sleep all day is that a thing that you do <gasps> perform uh oh fantastic um daryl come back here come. oh no performing seemed to uh get him out of bed did you notice that Walib. there look at that he wants to come watch uh so daryl there we go right um so we are here to best friend daryl um and something else that i would like to share actually is that when you 100 percent a town in a particular interest you get a message um and the fun message was this congratulations your town is now ferociously fun be sure to check in at the hotel someone amazing might be waiting for you so time to best friend daryl to be honest i think that a lot of this wallpaper might actually be um fun um it could be couldn't it i suppose we should make sure so we've got clubs oh look this room's red shall we make it diamonds oh look at that <gasps> fantastic look, the whole room diamonds okay what other we've got others here he's just doing like constant magic tricks look at him go <laughs> um what else we got um hearts okay we could we could do that in his bedroom um ugh, ugh, yeah it's not for me but there we are um <laughs> uh, that's um it's a bit busy isn't it uh, and what else have we got so he's got clubs in his kitchen could we give him like a club base floor i like the, the lighter one's not so bad there we go okay and then what could we put over here because i'm not sure if the blue is actually um part of fun this is the this is the problem i'm not sure uh oh spades spades oh look at that there we go hey that's all right isn't it that's okay so i think that's decorated with nothing but fun um so, so that's good i notice he's got some spooky lamps here um let's see here so we should look at his decoratives the amazing daryl's decoratives he's incredibly noisy that much i can tell you so he has the um asian mask which he has here uh, behind his stage we have the blue jack in the box um let's see here do you have i don't think he has a blue jack in the box is this considered fun it is indeed fantastic um we have some bongos lovely um we should probably put those near the the stage excellent uh oh a carnivorous plant let's put that in uh, i love those although he doesn't think much of it does he let's get rid of this window as well we don't want to proud to place little windows actually he doesn't have that many windows at all does he he just has the dark red window very actually maybe we won't put it in the bedroom he just has a very oh he's got a window in there we'll put we'll put a window there that'll work for us okay so he has the carriage lantern which we can see there's a couple of these i think they're probably spooky those things he has the chinese mask again probably spooky it is spooky although he does like it so we'll leave it in there um and the green jack-in-the-box because of course he does have that spooky trait doesn't he another jack-in-the-box yeah he enjoys that fabulous uh, oh the gumball machine i like gumball machines so you can have that there we go he likes it too the head hunter yes he likes that i wouldn't want to wake up 
to that next to my bed each morning, would you? I'm not sure I would. Um, Jester Mardi Gras mask. Um, and the kitty Mardi Gras mask. Uh, let's pop that over here. Ooh, we've maxed out his, his decorative items. Look at that. Uh, we're going to have to delete something. Let's get rid of the wizard. Um, let's see. What else has he got here? So he has a mecha gnome poster. What? A mecha gnome poster. That's geeky. I thought it would be. Mecha gnome. <laughs> they like their old gnome jokes, don't they? The Sims crowd. Oh, the skinny vase. He has that, that here on his uh, magic carpet. Table. Table lamp. I quite like that little table lamp. That's quite nice. Although he's um, very unenthusiastic about it. Um, what else have we got here? The theatre side curtain. Oh, look at that. He doesn't like it though because it's studious and he hates studious. So we'll get rid of that. Um, he has trunk. Hey, this is in the... Um, uh, oh, God, he hates that too. That's studious as well. That's in the um, hotel, I'm pretty sure. Um, then he has his velvet rope, which actually I think we're going to get rid of. Uh, because that's causing a few problems, isn't it? That's It's silly. War Moon, which he's not particularly bothered about. And he also has this, the Wild Mask, which he likes as well. So we'll leave that, we'll leave that there. We'll leave that there. Excellent. Okay. And then what we have him is a drum kit, because, of course, that is our 100% fun item um, for him. Where should we put it? I don't know. It's a, bit, it's a bit tricky. I guess we'll try and stick it here. I don't know. It's just a sculpture, um, but it's one that I made um, for our fun sims. Now, is this going to be enough to best friend him? I I'm really not sure. I'm trying to best friend uh, an uber sim. Is it as simple as that? I don't know. Let's find out. No. <laughs> Didn't think so. I wonder, um, would we need like two 100% items in order to, to crack it? Or, or could we be nice to him a little bit? Are we? We are friends with him. We have achieved friend status. But how close are we to best friends? I don't know. We're probably pretty close, though. And each time we're nice to him, it increases our friendship with him. But only a tiny amount. It could be quicker to just get get something fun to put in his house um, sometimes talking to them once or twice is enough just to push it over the edge but that doesn't seem to be working here this doesn't seem to be the case with Daryl so maybe we would need to see about giving them two items instead of one but I don't have any other um, fun items for Daryl I would just have to make another drum kit <laughs> Mind you, I suppose I could totally do that, couldn't I? Uh, oh no! <laughs> Ginny! <laughs> That's not what I intended to do at all. <gasps> she just slapped out! Did you see that? That was outrageous. Okay, I'm going to go and make another drum kit. I don't know where we would put it in here. Maybe in the bathroom? Maybe. I'm going to make another drum kit and we'll see. Hopefully that'll do it. Here I am. I'm back again. Is he back in bed? Oh, he's not. Where's he gone? He's gone out. It's got, hello, hello. Right, so I do have a second drum kit. Now, it's a little bit different because because of the essence issue. Let's pick up this mirror and uh, put this over here. Um, there was an essence issue in order to copy the drum kit. So, as you can see here, it's a little bit different, but it's still pretty close and he still really likes it. Okay, is this enough to best friend the amazing Daryl, the Uber Sim? Yes, it was. So, we're going to need two. Um... Uh, uh, items, 100% items in order to best friend them. Blala, you have done so much for me. Allow me to reveal to you my greatest secret. This is not my natural hair colour. <laughs> um, the amazing Daryl has given you a new theatre stage blueprint. Oh, we got this. It is pretty awesome. If you're starting up your own magic show, be sure to get the magician's outfit from your rewards dresser. <gasps> we also got his outfit. So we got this stage and his outfit. That is awesome. So we can dress up like a magician and and, and totally look the part. 
So, what do you think? You're happy? You're happy? Ah, this house you built, it's almost as amazing as me. Almost, not quite, eh? So there we go. There's amazing Daryl, the fun uber sim. Moved in, best friended. We've got all of his spoils. Now, let's see about going to best friend Hopper. Although, look, night has just come. I think I might go home to bed. And then we will best friend Hopper, yes. I'm back, Hopper. Yes, I am. And guess what I'm going to do now? I'm going to best friend, best friend you. Yes, I am. Um, in, in a very aggressive manner. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing, of course, is that we had to um, uh, deck out the town to 100% cute before Hopper would turn up in the hotel. And the cute message that we received for the town was... Congratulations, your town is now super cute! Be sure to check in at the hotel. Someone new might be waiting for you. Ribbit! Bless you, Hopper! Bless you! So now we're going to best friend him. So, the usual thing that we like to do is start by painting. Let's see here. We want to paint the joint. Uh, let's see, let's see. Well, um, we've got quite a lot of green, don't we, um, in the place. Um, oh, look at the, the blossom. Would you like... Look, because that's sort of got green in it, doesn't it? Do, do you like it? We could put... Ah, that's quite nice. Uh, what else could we do here? We have the tulips. We have happy. You know, that might be cool. Oh, oh, my, oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely into that. Um, there we go. And... All right. Well, he's very excitable, isn't he? Very, very excitable. Um, and then we might give him some freezer bunny. Actually, we'll give him the freezer bunny pink in here. We'll give him the freezer bunny blue in there. But I'd like to do something different for his kitchen. Ooh, penguin. Oh, look. Pe sure, we'll, we'll put the penguins in, I think. Yeah, we've not not messed with the, the penguin stuff before. Okay, let's check out his decoratives then, shall we? Decoratives, decoratives. He has the branchy fern. I'm not sure I've seen that anywhere in his place. So, oh, bless you. Let's pop that there for him. Um, he has the costume shop wool lamp. He does, and he's using it. He uses the curtained windows. We've got a couple of those kicking around. He has the goldfish bowl, which I don't actually think has an essence about it. No. I mean, I love it, but he's not bothered the green jack-in-the-box we know is fun um so i don't think i mean he likes it okay we'll leave it because he likes fun doesn't he okay fine uh the hedgehog it's very weird that oh god he likes that that's i mean it is cute um the kayushi kayoshi doll uh here we go i really like that thing look at it can i have one of these i'd like one of these um <laughs> uh light brown teddy bear we'll, we'll pop that in his bedroom oh, he's loving it uh, also pop his bunny so many so many cute items we'll put them all in his bedroom these cuddly toys um and then also pop his little lizard um can, will that fit in his bedroom can we get that anywhere in his bedroom maybe at the end of his bed there we go um okay and then we have the sunflower painting which I got a feeling doesn't he already have yes he has it there the sunflower painting and the wool geckos there we go so he has all of the decorative items although I'd quite like to uh, max him out on those uh, let's see should we put one in there oh my goodness it's very excited very very excited and a few lamps about the place um although we're getting to the point where we're at, there we go <laughs> uh it's a bit odd though that one let's put, plop it there okay so now our cute item is the dollhouse so i've uh, created a couple as we know that we're going to need two it won't fit there that's a shame isn't it um where are we going to be able to put it maybe if we move uh, him up here we'll put that there let's try and put one of them here Yay! Um, now it'd be great to put the other one in the bedroom but I, I don't think it's going to go there either so what we might do um, ooh, look it's a separate table uh, I'll do this 
Um, move the sunflower painting. Now, can we put a doll's house here as well? Yeah. <laughs> okay then. All right. <gasps> Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, man, my place is cuter than a red-eyed tree frog. Thanks. Ah, oh, Hopper has given you hopping new bed and couch blueprints. We got the couch and the bed. He's also given you a variety of delightful animal costumes, which you can access in your rewards dresser. <gasps> a variety, a whole bunch of different um animal costumes oh i can't wait to check those out later that's amazing oh hopper that is awesome thank you so much we best friend did hopper do you like the doll's house i like the doll's house i'm quite i'm quite a fan of this doll's house <laughs> oh tv's on Ebony. Ebony. Oh, let's talk to him again he's awesome gotta love hopper uh, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Okay, he's being weird now. He's being weird now. He's being weird now. Let's go and best friend start. <laughs> Hello, star. I'm back. Um, I think I've been doing a little bit of research. I think the idea is that Julie, who's a farmer, is some sort of sort of uh, disguise that she goes to, like some sort of you know hidden. Yeah, she hides the fact that she's star. I think. I think it's something like this, you know, um, people she doesn't know, she makes out she's Julie and she's into farming. I mean, sure. Um, anyway, <laughs> we're here to best friend Star today. Um, aren't we, Star? Let's do this. So, first of all, um, let's make sure that we can paint herself, herself, her house in lots of geeky things. <gasps> oh. Wee. Wee. Okay, we did a Rubik's Cube. Um, what else might she like? She might like the Uber Shiny. Oh, it goes quite well in this room. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, excellent. And then what can we do out here? Um, she's wearing a lot of red, so maybe we could... Oh, do a bit of red. Oh, yeah. What is this? The, the robo fish. Oh, we changed the stars. I don't think we should have really changed the stars, do you? I don't think we should have changed the stars. Uh, which, let's put the stars back. There we go. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so the next thing is her decorative. So what decoratives does Star have? So we've got the Sim Gothic painting, which is, um, she looks like she has actually quite a lot of decoratives kicking around. Um... She didn't like the wizard being taken away at all, did she? Uh, she didn't seem too bothered about that, which surprises me. I thought that would have come up as um, as a spooky item. She's in spooky arcade poster. Would you like the arcade? <laughs> she likes the arcade poster. Um, she has the atomic lamp. Should we pop that somewhere? Yes, she likes that. Uh, we have bottles. I can't imagine she'd be too fussed about bottles. No. I, d I didn't think so. Um, okay. Um, then she has the curtained window. There's the cordless telephone, which we know she has. So she has the curtained window. Um, I don't think she would have that particular window. That's interesting. Um, she has the haunted house raven, which I think is amazing. I love this thing. I'm going to stick that there. Yeah, she likes that. Um, the girl robot, which uh, she's got here, and I think another one in her bedroom as well. She has the Mecha Gnome poster as well. The Mecha Gnome poster? <laughs> yeah, she likes that. Excellent. Um, what else have we got going on here? Oh, the observatory chart. Nice. Yes. yes. Um, the pink robot, she's got a couple of those kicking around. The purple flower sconce. Well, I can't... Isn't that cute? She's... Yes, it's it's nothing, and she's not that bothered. Um, the sad bear, I can't imagine that she'd be into the sad bear. Um, this would probably be better in the bedroom. Oh, it's spooky, so she does. Okay, excellent. Uh, the salon screen, um, again, can't imagine she'd be... No, it's it doesn't seem to come with anything attached to it. Um, what is this? The sci-fi column? doesn't like it though well she's, she's not bothered about it 
the uh, sushi bonsai tree. What about the, the sushi? We're not going to have room for all the things. That much I can tell you. Um, the wall plant. Uh, I can't find anywhere to fit this. She's not bothered about it anyway, so we'll get rid of it. Because what I think I would like to do is put another one of these. Oh, yeah. Right. There we are. Now, uh, the geeky item that I made all that time ago is that... Um, uh, oh, the, the model. Uh, oh. Should we put this over here? Let's move the coffee table out the way, I think. Uh this is this is going to get tricky it's not gonna fit there okay we'll just we'll just move this over here uh, here it is <laughs> it's the model of of Danania, of the of, of the town <laughs> center look at it um and, and i've made two of them because we've learned that they need two so we're going to have to just squeeze it in um uh, because they do come with a lot of stuff don't they these guys. Uh, I wanted to turn it. Uh, uh, it doesn't line up. Sad times. It doesn't line up. There we are. Oh god. The the house is like chug 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 chug. <laughs> put way way too much stuff in. Um, I don't know where to, to put it all. But there we are. This is this is where it all is. Um, <laughs> Enjoy that star. I mean, we've hit 100% geeky. This should be enough to best friend her. Amazing, Blala. You are a trusted friend. I know the secret. Uh, I know that the secret of my real identity is safe with you. It is. Truly was just, just, just a ruse. Star has given you the secret bedroom blueprint of the Crescent Moon Village. Ah. Oh. Also, you can now find the secret garb of the Crescent Moon Ninja in your reward dresser. Uh, what will the elders think? <laughs> Amazing. I can't wait to check out all these blueprints and, and outfits that we've got um, from this little adventure. Ah, oh, Star. It's amazing. It's amazing. Best friend. Uh, ha, I have uh, deceived you. I am not a farmer, but a ninja. I am Star of the Crescent Moon Village. Ninjas must train to impersonate normal people in order to spy on them. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Well, I mean, that's all that's confirmed then. Yeah, I mean, I really didn't expect her to say, name's Julie, I'm a farmer. You know, I, I didn't see that one coming. Um, right, well, there we are. We're pretty trapped. Um, so I think I'm trapped in this space. So I think it's time to go. Uh, but yeah, excellent. I, I, I'm really, really pleased. This is really cool. I like Star a lot. Her outfit's amazing. We're going to go back now. Now that we've best friended these three uber sims, we're going to go and check out all their blueprints and their costumes. It's going to be amazing. Ah, home sweet home. Okay, so we need to talk blueprints. Oh, quick. Hang on. First of all, we just need to feed the fish, feed the fish. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's talk blueprints. Um, we're going to go on the computer today. Um, no, we're not. We might... Should we should we should we talk in the bathroom? Let's talk let's talk in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. So, um blueprints then. We we've gained quite a few blueprints um from all of this. So, first of all, uh we have gained from the amazing Daryl um is the stage fancy. Oh, and it is very fancy as well and we'll check out um his costumes in the moment. I believe that's the only item that we got from Daryl actually just the one blueprint um, and then from Hopper we received the couch froggy I'm very fond of this uh, the, the frog motif that he has going on um, but he also gave us to go with it the bed froggy as well um, which also has that that fantastic frog look so that was a really nice um, double set there from Hopper um, and apparently he gave us a whole array of animal costumes which we'll check out in just a moment and then finally from Star we received 
the bed tree blueprint. Even though there was that amazing sword above the bookcase and all that sort of stuff, um, we only did get the one blueprint, which was the bed tree, which I think is just fantastic. And I love that it has a little bird in it. It's just so lovely. Um, and we also got her costume as well. So I think we should go and check out the costumes. So I believe that it would be in my dress at Poppy. What are, you, what are you doing? Get out of here. Hey, Poppy. So, so puppy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> right, let's check this out then. So, um, I believe Aww. it would be in here. Here we go. So here's the first one. We seem to have a tiger outfit. I wonder if we've got hats to go with them. Yes. Yes, we do. We can be dressed up like a tiger. Oh my god, look at these peeps. <laughs> this, is, this is adorable. Aww. Aww. And then... Uh, oh. What do we think? No, that probably doesn't. Oh, do we think this is a, a badger? This could be a badger, couldn't it? Um, because it does the strap doesn't go all the way down the back, so not. I don't think it's a raccoon, is it, or a skunk? I, I think it might actually be a badger. A bit hard to tell. Oh, oh, let me know in the comments below which one you think it is. Are we thinking badger, skunk, raccoon? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. <gasps> What I know is it's so cult. Uh, and then... <laughs> was that... So, um... Some sort of bear? Do we think this might be some sort of bear? Because of the ears. Um, some, some sort of bear, I think. Like polar bear. There we go. Um, and then we, of course, have... <laughs> Hopper's frog outfit. <laughs> There is a whole bunch of animal outfits. So even though we got one uh, blueprint, we really did get a whole bunch of costumes. Um, and then what have we got Ooh. here? The stars. Oh. Oh. Wow. That is so good. That is so good. Look, she gets a bit dizzy when I turn her. That is an amazing outfit. That that's definitely worth getting. Oh look, there's variants. <gasps> Oops, I messed my face. Look, red ones. Oh, there's variants, everybody. There's variants. So, oh look, white. It's oh, amazing. Then 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 the green. <laughs> and then the pink. Oh! <laughs> wow. Loads of them. And then um, we also have the Amazing Daryl, which we went past. We went past the Amazing Daryl. Let's go back to Daryl there. Okay. This one, do we think? This top hat? Oh, look. It looks like we've got variants again. So, I mean, that's what he wears, isn't it? Now we've got, look, the playing cards on the back of the shoes and all that sort of stuff. Now, that's the one that he wears. Oh, that seems to be it. So, but we have two top hat options, it seems. So one outfit, but two top mm -hmm. hat <laughs> options. Fantastic. <gasps> That is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Um, so we shall revert um, and come out of here. So many amazing costumes. Um, oh, we've almost seen every single sim now. Can you believe it? We've almost gone through them all. In the next episode, we'll go through the final three Uber Sims because there are six in total. There are six interests, so there's an Uber Sim for every interest. We've covered cute, fun, and geeky, um, and we shall cover the other three in the next episode. But for now, I think it's time for bed, isn't it, Blala? It's time for bed. Yes, it's time for bed. It's time for bed. Wow. <laughs>
Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not take your first step on the path to total coolness by supporting me via Patreon. The cooler you are, the harder I work, which means even more shizwa.